Hi everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial where I'll be taking you through how I paint the bows you might have seen on my Venari Oralan Sentinels. So over a Wraithbone undercoat by Citadel I'm going to be using a base coat of Wildwood Contrast. And for the bow I won't be using any contrast medium so just Wildwood straight from the pot. And with the base coat of Wildwood dry I'm now going to be moving on to Dryad Bark. And with this base coat, I just want to make sure I leave some of the wildwood contrast visible. As it will leave a sort of grainy effect that you would see on wood in real life. And now for the first highlight, I'm going to be using Gawthor Brown. Now with this highlight, you don't have to be too careful with making really thin lines. So being relatively generous with the application. But again, just make sure that you leave some of that dryad bark and wildwood contrast visible. But for the strings of the bow, you can be quite generous with the application. Just keeping your brush on an angle and just working your way down the strings. And now for the second highlight, I'm gonna be moving on to Bane Blade Brown. Now for this step, you really just want to try and focus the highlights directly over the Gawthor Brown, leaving just a hint of the Gawthor Brown visible. But again, with the strings of the bow, as you'll see in a moment, just go straight over that, just keeping your brush on an angle the same as you did with the Gawthor Brown. And now for the final highlight, I'm going to be moving on to Screaming Skull. And again, as with the Bane Blade over the Gawthor, just make sure you leave a little bit of that paint visible and just try and keep your brush on a downward angle to get tiny little lines because the aim we're going for here is that grainy wood effect. And I should mention as well, so the brushes that I've used for this particular model, uh, well the bow in particular I should say, uh, nylon brushes. Now they're actually just no-name brushes that I purchased off eBay. They were $6 Australian for six brushes, all different sizes. And I have to say they do a fantastic job. Uh, perhaps not for every detail such as eyes. I tend to keep my Raphael 8404 range of brushes for really fine details like that because those brushes are a little bit more expensive. But if you're looking for cheap and effective brushes that actually last quite a while with care then definitely check out nylon brushes on ebay or even just online in general i'm sure you'll be able to find them
And here is the miniature completed. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today and I will see you in the next one.